y'all it's kennedy simone here and i am back again with another video if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to be a part of ken's crew because we're the best crew come on join the fam you're already here it's free you know just click the button down below i'll wait so yeah as you can tell from the title I will be doing a video about assumptions of Spelman College or just college in general. If you don't know me, I am a Spelman College student. I'm a sophomore economics major. So, you know, I've been, you know, in college for a little minute. So I feel like I can, you know, comment on these assumptions. I'll be real, raw, honest. And you know, it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. Also, check out my channel. I'll link two of my playlists down below and in the iCards. I have college vlogs um, from my freshman year and up until, you know, now. And also, I have some college advice videos for incoming students and, you know, all levels of college students. So, definitely check that out if you're interested. And yeah, let's just get right into these assumptions, honey, because the tea is piping hot, okay? I don't have a little mug just because, you know, I don't drink tea or coffee, but you know, it's fine. Imaginary tea is piping hot, okay? All right, so the first assumption is going to be easy making friends. Um, so, I would say as a freshman coming in, I feel like, yeah, it is really easy for me. It was only freshmen at school, so I mean, you only had one option to make friends. There's so many different events and activities they have us do during NSO week, New Student Orientation week, and you're bound to meet somebody. Like, literally, if it's not over internet or group me or the first week of school, you'll probably meet somebody if not your roommate or through your roommates friends and everything so yeah i would say it is pretty easy to make friends going out every week <laughs> that's a big assumption at least for me personally i kind of am a homebody i'm kind of introvert so no i don't go out every week well not go out in the sense of like partying i do get out of my room and stuff um i know a lot of people move to a different city from where they're from for college so yeah just explore the city and stuff now i would say homecoming the first week back and maybe the last week is pretty lit so you know that may be a a thing but mostly just homecoming honestly so the next assumption it's the best school in the entire world Spelman versus everything and everyone for my girl Mackenzie that's big facts period someone's assumption is that Spelman doesn't give a lot of students money to go towards tuition and that's true period because I feel like there's literally a handful of people that have full tuition scholarships there's a handful of people that even have partial scholarship and if it is a partial scholarship I feel like it's really you know minute you know every cent counts now I'm not gonna say that it doesn't matter but you know in the grand scheme of things Spelman compared to other schools other HBCUs even do not give out as much money as others and you know it's just a part of the thing you know I mean not everybody can afford it not everybody can find a way to pay for it but if you can definitely come because it's really a, a full experience and after college you'll have a big network of Spelman alums so it's really cool but you know to each his own so the next assumption is that Spelman is boring because there aren't any sports Spelman yes is an all-girls school we do not have competitive sports but we do have intramural sports if you want to play that we our wellness center is popping okay we got personal trainers for the free we got all the equipment our wellness center is popping okay so if you if, that's not the issue but we do not have like competitive sports but the fact that we're literally the AUC Morehouse Clark and Spelman I can go to anybody's game at Morehouse or Clark and you know have the same experience personally I don't really go to a lot of sporting events I never really have honestly um, my high school was a big football school so I did that but um, Morehouse I don't really go to a lot of football games so just leave it at that but yeah I mean it's chill it doesn't feel like I'm missing out on anything if I want to go to a basketball game if I want to go to a track meet if I want to go to a volleyball game baseball basketball football 
I can go because Morehouse is literally right there and Clark is literally right there. So it's not boring to me, um, especially not because there's no sports. That's not That wouldn't be the reason why I would say it's boring, but it's not boring um, unless you make it. I mean, it's really up to you. So the next assumption is sleeping and eating schedules get terribly messed up. And that's big facts. Literally like I barely get my eight hours and I feel like that's probably a personal thing it's all about time management so that's like really up to you if you get your eight hours but personally i just really cannot fall asleep you know if i'm up i'm up like this morning i had to wake up for registration for my classes and you know it was 6 a.m so i just went to the gym and came back showered got cute a little bit you know and you know filming this video for y'all but yeah sleeping schedule does kind of get messed up just because sometimes your workload is you know a little heavier than normal and yeah the calf is not really good lower mainly we don't have good options but that's another story for another day i'm not gonna bash my school but we got to do better in this period so another person assumed it's crazy expensive or just expensive and i'm assuming like college tuition or maybe like the college life in general um the tuition yeah it's expensive like it it's up to you if you want to come or not um if you have tuition and you can come i definitely encourage to come but if not don't go beyond your means living broke out here i mean we're all college students we're all struggling to a degree but like if you really cannot afford it like don't stretch your fingers out period someone said spellman is full of catty women girls um so honestly i feel like every college that has women every college that has people in it have catty people like i feel like that's not specific to spelman um i would not say spelman is full of catty women i feel like just because we are an all women's institution it's more i guess known between us i guess just because it's only girls like it's literally only us so yeah i guess so but it's it's literally not an overwhelming amount i would say personally it's a lot of cool people here so no i wouldn't say it's full of catty women someone said it's challenging academically so i'm guessing spellman yes it's definitely challenging it depends on your major how challenging it will be for you and how you you know receive different information but yeah overall i feel like yes it is a very challenging school another assumption spelman girls are bougie slash stuck up now i'm not gonna lie and say there's no bougie and stuck up people because it definitely is it's a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds and so you know you're gonna get every type of person you will ever meet here um because literally we're so diverse we're so different and everybody wasn't raised the same so yes yeah, some people are going to be really bougie and it's not always bad to be bougie i don't think you know sometimes you know you you want to enjoy your nice things and that's fine sis but being stuck up i feel like it's more of a negative connotation and there's definitely stuck up people but me personally i'm a real chill person i'm from louisiana down south we don't got no bougie bougie bags you know because who got time to be bragging when you really don't got it all together anyway it's your parents money probably so another assumption is that you have to do a lot of community service to get into spelman so regarding the whole getting into college getting into spelman subject nobody knows i mean we just got in we don't get a checklist of oh you did this this and this and that's why you got in we just get accepted so we don't really know but you know obviously you just try to be the best you can be so i mean if you have no community service hours and you're literally bomb everywhere else you may have a chance of getting in but honestly i feel like a well-rounded person is just i feel like that's just the better you know fit for pretty much all colleges um but you know who knows i feel like some people didn't have that many community service hours. Some people had so many that they are Bonner scholars. So do community service because you like it, period. Someone said it's overrated. Um, I don't know if she's referring to Spelman or just college in general. But if she's talking about Spelman, no, I don't think it's overrated. I feel like it's really a good experience. I'm a sophomore, two years in, two years to go. Um, I love it. I love it period I support my HBCU every HBCU has its faults 
but you go here because you like it at the end of the day the pros outweigh the cons so no i don't think it's overrated it may be overrated to you but hey to each his own someone said there aren't many transfer students i want to transfer um there are actually a lot of transfer students here at spelman don't let the assumption that there aren't as many transfer students deter you from any school to be honest um so definitely you know apply and stuff we'll accept you with open arms you know baby girl you know join the fam join the fam someone said i don't think so but people say spelman is whack and only morehouse makes it live morehouse is lit i'll give it to them but we lit too morehouse does not make us lit like no they be here all the time they be hanging around at 9 a.m in the morning okay they be here because it's lit you know now it's not lit in the sense of like it's always jumping all day every day definitely not i feel like no college really is like that but it's definitely lit at like when it wants to be so no i, I wouldn't think it's wet somebody assumed that you all think you are better than everyone else and are stuck up um, I think I addressed this already. No, um, I feel like people categorize a whole school with like one stereotype. And I feel like that's not fair to us. Like, I feel like that's not fair to any group of people. Everybody's different. So it's not gonna all be the same regardless. Like, you know, so no, not everybody's stuck up. Not everybody's bougie. But yeah, not everybody's like that. So just come here and experience it and you'll know. So I want to leave this video off on a positive note because I feel like more often than not assumptions are usually like negative. So I want to leave this off on a positive note. You know, coming from coming from my school, you know, I had to does. Experience things on your own. Don't always assume things just because you see it on social media. Honestly, a lot of things on social media are really altered and edited and mismatch and do, 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 do. you know, don't really take everything for face value, you know. Take a time, step back, think, and just realize, like, you know, we all on the same playing field. We all got 24 hours. So nobody has an advantage, you know, really. We all live in life, you know, getting through, getting through. It's just live your life, girl. Do you. Stay in your lane and do you, boo. We prospering all 2019. I want you guys to subscribe to my channel down below. Turn on the notification bell so y'all know when I upload a video. I'm going to be more consistent on y'all, okay? Y'all been seeing it? Have y'all been seeing it? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a different little video I've never kind of done before. Leave me any video suggestions. I already do vlogs and different college advice. Um, but yeah, let me know some suggestions down in the comments below. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope this video wasn't too long. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Passion, purpose, prosper. Bye. Kennedy.